Hello. I was talking to a colleague and we were discussing distraction and management in dog training. And my colleague asked me what my issue was with it, why I had a problem with it. And I said that I don't actually have a problem with either. But it's that thing I often talk about, the difference between theory and reality. And in theory, they're often given to owners as training techniques. But in reality, what we know is they don't really teach the dog anything. And that's why owners are often told that, you know, they should see the dog training as a marathon, that this is going to take a very long time to work. When in reality, it will never work because it's not actually training the dog to do anything. If a dog barks at other dogs and I try and distract it with something, I'm not actually teaching the dog it's not allowed to bark. I'm simply saying, can I get you momentarily to focus on something else instead of the other dog? And even if the answer is yes, and that works, it never teaches the dog that it's not allowed to bark or that it should do something else. It means if it can always go back to the barking anytime it wants to, and the dog knows that, which is why they often get better, but they never stop doing it. And as for management, again, management isn't training. If I have a dog who barks at other dogs, so I turn and take my dog in the other, in the other direction, not only is that not going to work because I'm actually giving the dog what it wants, which is distance from the other dog. That's why it's barking. But actually, again, I'm never teaching the dog it's not allowed to just bark at other dogs. So all I'm teaching it is if I can get you away from the other dog quickly enough, I'll take you away and then you'll be rewarded for the barking, which is why, again, people who do that, it never works. The other perhaps slightly more insidious reason is because these are things that owners could pretty much work out for themselves. I don't think it's right that owners should have to pay off them not in considerable sums of money to be given a technique that they could have probably figured out for themselves. They didn't need to pay me to be told they can go in another direction or they can shut the dog away or they can throw food on the floor. They don't need me to tell them that. They could work that out themselves. So when I run my courses at the Canine Instructor Academy and I'm training future trainers or maybe just owners who want to improve the behavior of their dog what I teach them is how to teach the dog a new behavior how to stop doing that and do something else instead but the dog understands that that's what it has to do and then sees that it's much more profitable to do that but what I want is trainers who will come back to me and say I went and worked with this client their dog was aggressive towards another dog or towards other dogs and they contacted me back a week later and said that they can walk in past other dogs without barking. And I get this all the time from the people who do the courses. So the behavior course is designed to teach you how to teach that dog to do something else, but understand that that's its only option. It has to do that, but that will actually get it the result that it wants, which is distance or whatever it's looking for. But I want trainers who will come back to me and say, I went and saw this client last week they're messaging me back a week later and saying they can't believe they have the same dog and I believe we can do that and I see it on my courses all the time with the feedback that I get from trainers who are out there. So don't just settle for distraction and bribing and ignoring bad behaviour. It's never going to work. Instead, learn some techniques that will actually teach you how to teach the dog an alternative behaviour that the dog will actually want to carry out. Hope to see you on my next course. And if you like this video, please click like. And if you want to hear more videos when they come up, please click the subscribe button. Thank you.